I have some fans to meet. <laughs> okay, here's how it's gonna go down. It's 30 seconds each, tickets in hand, or it's back of the line, and no, she will not be clarifying any Sunrise Bay plot points. This isn't Sunrise Bay, where everybody lives in a perfect dream world. I'll have you know, Sunrise Bay was a coastal community plagued by a centuries-old curse. John. Oh, uh-huh, there it is. There it is, the Vivian Blake bitch face. Excuse me? I didn't want to say anything, but you are my favorite character on Sunrise Bay. Thanks. It's true. He lived for Sunrise Bay. Mm -hmm. I could be doing cartwheels and a thong in front of that television, which I have done. But if your show was on, I was as good as wallpaper. Hey, how many people did you slap on that show? I don't care. She can't remember. There were so many slaps. Enough about me. Let's talk about you signing this contract. Well, somebody's in a little hurry. No, you? no, we're not huh? in a hurry. No. Aren't we? No, we're not. No. Really? No. <laughs> there it is again. Bam. OK, I'll tell you what, Vivian. Um, Moira. I will go ahead and sign Moira. off on this sale. Good. For a slap. Excuse me? I've always wanted to be slapped by Vivian Blake. It's true. We've role-played it a thousand times, mm -hmm. but it is not the real thing. Mm -mm. <laughs> You'd like me to slap you? Yeah. I don't think that well, I... Well, don't I think. Just do slap it. Slap him, Moira. I won't. Slap, slap him, Moira. Go ahead and slap him. Slap him. Just slap my slap husband, Moira. John, I won't. Slap, slap him, Moira. I'll slap him. Slap me. I won't. Slap me like a bitch. Sign the fucking contract! When you have limited resources, your best course of action is to create a stir. It's exciting, it's fun. It's like the episode in Sunrise Bay when I stole my own baby. They had me playing my own father, who then became pregnant despite the vasectomy. I still hold the record for the longest running demonic possession on daytime uh, television. Okay, what's your point? We were number one. Moira, you wrote those letters. Don't be absurd. That is not my writing. It was that week on Sunrise Bay when Vivian Blake had her accident. You were in a body cast. They wouldn't let you take it off. You were writing with your left hand. The spelunking incident. No. It was after she got thrown upwards through a skylight. Look, I'm lying here in bed. I can't move. I miss you. It's all there, Moira. You're telling me none of this rings a bell? In my defense, John, I had asked for actual painkillers to help ease me into my character's plight. Is this what you were looking for? A double cassette of the best body swaps of Sunrise Bay, season 21. Yes, thank you. I've been asked to retrieve it for a customer with wonderful taste. Take the pills, Vivian. A please might be nice. You really think you would be head of surgery at Sunrise General if you weren't possessed by your father, who also happened to be the former head of surgery at Sunrise General? <gasps> oh, enjoying the box set, are we? This season is weird. You're great in it, but I forgot how bad Clifton Sparks was. Oh, it's Uncle Sparky too, dear. Also, I'm so confused. Why is Vivian the only one who gets possessed when Tristan also played the Ouija game? Oh, suddenly she's the director. Oh, I want to see this. You can, and you know it. How dare you make me kill my father twice? <gasps> You'll pay for this one day. They want to reboot Sunrise Bay. What? Who? No, no, it's big, big co-production. All the good people want in Moira. It's going to be raw. It's going to be edgy. It's going to be prime time. A sexy new cast. But they have asked for prominent characters from the original to ground the whole thing. So I called Clifton. Alphabetical. And he said, I said I wouldn't do it without you. And that was before Nicole Kidman signed on as Adriana's daughter. Nicole Kidman. And I was believing you both up till now. No, no, no. Moira, this is all true. Have you forgotten that Vivian was killed off? When has that ever stopped us? Well, the last time I was shredded. That's why we have writers. Let them do their magic. Oops. Oops. What do we have here? What is that? Is this maybe a very generous offer for a direct-to-series primetime Emmy contender? 
Have a read. Have a read of that, and then maybe meet up with us later tonight. We're gonna celebrate over drinks. I don't know what to say. That's a simple answer, Vivian. Say yes. Lexus, do I have news? Okay, thank God you're here because I have so many questions. Like, why did they kill off your character after you had just given birth to your ninth child and escaped from that cave with that secret about your lover? It was a ghost, yes. And then they killed you off in like the most humiliating way. I'm not sure I'd call it humiliating. You vomited a demon into a toilet and then fell in and drowned. Well, the writers insisted it was symbolic. Nevertheless, I and have... And then they shredded you. Yes. Yes, I should have seen that coming after my contract demands, but... Okay, yes. Read that drama? I just fell down a dark sunrise fan hole and found this message board about conspiracy theories. Oh, next? There are a lot of fans who think that Clifton Sparks had you written off the show because he was jealous. Don't be a dotty poor Alexis. No, I unwittingly negotiated myself off the show. End of story. Okay, you watch this video and tell me who you think he's referring to then. Oh. Come. There has been some serious sunrise intrigue around the sudden departure of Vivian Blake. Can you tell us what happened? She had a good run, but let's just say someone reminded the producers that there's only room for one head of surgery at Sunrise General, and I think all you housewives at home know who that should be. See? Anyway. He's basically admitting to having you written off the show. No, oh, he's drunk there. No, that's not... No, Alexis, I came here to tell you something. To... I've been asked to resuscitate Vivian so that she may live again in a prime time reboot. Yeah, from down Please. Down. Uh, you know, I'm not interested in that. <laughs> Room for one more. Mommy, grab a chair. I uh, hope you don't mind when we decided to get a head start on the celebration. Extra dry, extra olive. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you, Mr. Bernstein. Yeah, tell that cute bartender I'd love a sex on the beach. If she has time, I need another scotch. <laughs> you better hurry if you want to catch up. Oh, no, this doctor would rather nurse her potable, if you don't mind. Best to stay lucid for our Congress. Hey, remember how you entered that time machine you discovered in the hospital's broom closet, season three? <laughs> what if we bring you back? that way. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not easy to disremember my final demise. It was even more vicious than Vivian getting trampled while honeymooning in Pamplona. Oh, Moira, get over it. Contract negotiations go sour all the time. What would you know about my contract? What? I believe I gave you a new contract today. Did you, did you bring it? Clifton. Hmm? There are fans who think that you might have had something to do with my being written off the show. What? Who would? Why would? Look, Moira, there were a lot of egos back then, and I was a different man. That was before my liver transplant. Is it true? Think of it as a compliment. Your star was rising, and I was maybe jealous. How would you look at this? I'm getting texts from Nicole's office. Serves me right for sharing EP credit. These people... I'm guessing Clifton was also responsible for my name being repeatedly left off the daytime Emmy ballot. No, we submitted you every year. And, and that season that you played your own brother? We submitted you for best actress and actor. You did what? But, oh. Tippy, I did not negotiate myself out of the job, did I? You deserved every penny. Please, more. I want you to consider this offer as my amends. And if you sign on, then we can all get back to doing what we love. There is something I love that I haven't been able to do for quite some time. <clears throat> now, Mr. Bernstein, I have a few demands. No, we Oh, Alexis, has our quarantine been lifted? Yeah, I was scared I was gonna get bed sores, so I'm going for a run. So I needed to, like, cleanse my brain a bit, because eight hours of watching Sunrise Bay made me feel a little not right in the head. It had that effect. The New England Journal of Medicine did a fascinating study on it. Will you be trapped in this crystal the entire episode? Best to skip ahead. So how was the meeting? You, Alexis, sir, one shrewd little Reynard. You were right about Clifton. He sucks in this, by the way. So he had you written off the show? Yes. But I used that little nugget to negotiate a superior deal. I am, after all, the one cast member still making headlines. Uh, 
So you still said yes? I did. But on the condition that Clifton be written off the show, death of my choosing, and I asked for more money. Okay, yes, Mom! And a diamond tennis bracelet. Okay, well, that seems like a bit much, but it still sounds like you got what you're worth. Oh, God, no. I made them an offer they had to refuse. So you're not doing it then? No, thank you, Alexis. Thank you for removing my rosy lunette so that I might see Clifton for who he really is. And if you did all that without getting out of bed, imagine what you're capable of doing. Okay, how is it that your daughter is also trapped in the cave but has never looked up once? You've been hanging over her for three straight episodes. Oh, you know, children, this is where the season picks up. When the cave starts talking back to me, voiced by the wonderful Peter Falk. Mm. I was gonna go for a run. She's about to look up. I'm from London. I was one of two identical twins. Tragically, I was snatched from my crib at birth by Russian mobsters. Mm -hmm. They looked at my fair skin and my dazzling eyes and I said, we'll make a pretty penny on that one. On the human black market, we will. What about the twin? Who's that, love? Well, if you're identical, I thought you'd both be valuable. Yes, wouldn't you? She wasn't born yet. Yep, she wasn't born till three minutes later and the brother worked very quickly. That is quite a story. Isn't it? <clears throat> um, I excuse me, I I'll be back in a moment. I think he's buying it. You think? Thank you very much for waiting. Uh, this is uh, Sarah. It's my wife and business partner. Oh, hi. Is everything okay? Well, I hope you can forgive me, but I couldn't help overhear your story. Oh, yes, love. It's an inspiration to many, I'm sure. And it sounded so familiar. But then I remembered Sunrise Bay. My wife was addicted to your show. I thought it's wonderful, but we don't have a television. So. Moira. I remember when your twin showed up and stabbed Armand with her sharpened crutch. Okay, oh. that was fun. Oh.